hi everyone welcome or welcome back to the channel and in today's video i'll be drafting this cow neck bag dress with you i believe a lot of you know how to draft the cow neck at the front already if not i have one on my channel and you can check it out so the main focus of this tutorial is actually to um, learn how to draft the cow neck at the back for the front side of this dress i decided to do a halter neck so if this is something you would like to learn how to make then let's get right into today's tutorial so i have my pattern paper with a width which is a little bit wider than quarter of my hip measurement and then the length is up to my knee level so with this dress you can choose whatever length you want it can be up to your knee midi or maxi that will depend on what you want so i already have my starting line and i'll label that as the shoulder line and then from the shoulder line i would mark my shoulder to my bust measurement which is 10 and then shoulder to waist for me is 16 and a half and then from my waist to my hip measurement and then i'll do the same on the other side then i will connect these dots to form straight lines i'll now label them so this will be my bust line that will be my waistline and then my hip line and then from there i'll measure half of my shoulder length which is seven inches and then mark my neck width which is three inches and then neck depth which is three inches and then connect this to with a curve to give me the basic neckline from there i will go down one inch from the end of the shoulder measurement and then connect it to the neckline with a slope from there i would measure my armhole depth measurement which is the bust divided by six plus 1.5 inches so when i mark that i'll measure what is left from there and then i'll measure it on the other side as, as well and then connect it to form a straight line and then i'll label this line the chest line so on the chest line i'll measure half of my shoulder measurement which is seven like i did on the shoulder line and then i will connect it to the shoulder slope like this and then i will divide the armhole depth in half and then from that point i would go in one inch and then from there i would draw in my armhole curve from the shoulder through to the one inch and then to the chest line like this so what i'm going to do now is to put in my bust measurement so from the chest line i'll put in my bust measurement divided by four that is quarter of my bust measurement for the waistline also i'll put in quarter of my waist measurement and then for the hip line also i will do same quarter of my hip measurement and then i will connect this from the chest line to the waistline with a straight rule and then from the waistline to the hip with a slight curve and then from the hip line to the hem line, I would do an A line like you see. Create the halter neck. I went up about three inches from the chest line and then from the armhole, I marked about one inch. And then went down half an inch at the neckline and the shoulder. So I'm canceling that extra on the neckline because it's not needed. So what I'm going to do now is to connect a line from the shoulder through the one inch mark to the end of the mark on the chest line. So what I'm going to do now is to create a bust dart. So from the bust line, I would measure half of my nipple to nipple measurement and then draw a line from the armhole to meet this point. And then from the bust line on the line, I'll go up one inch. So that is where I will draw my dart to meet. So at the armhole, I would go out half an inch on both sides and then connect it to this point. And then we have our armhole dart now or the bust dart. So what I'm doing now is to just smoothen the waistline a bit because the waist is not this sharp. 
so i would add allowance all round i did add half an inch all round So I'm putting in my green line now so this will tell me how to lay my fabric my pattern on the fabric you have to know that this will be cut on the bias so that is why we have the diagonal green line so with the armhole that I'll be folding it like this before cutting around the armhole this is just to um, remove that shortage over there because if you don't fold it before cutting it you would notice that when you're stitching it there would be a shortage so this is just to prevent that so that's why i'm going in with my curve again and then connect it with the curve like this so this is this will prevent the shortage like i said so this is how it's looking so this is the front pattern and what I'm going to do now is to measure from the waist to the hemline on the center front and then I will use that same measurement on the waist to the hemline on the side. So you notice that the waist to the hemline on the side is a little bit longer. So I have to make sure that from the waist to the hemline are all the same measurements. So I'll just connect it with a curve like this so that at the hemline the the shape will be really nice and circular and flattering that's the main point so now with the back i would take a new paper making sure that i have the length that i want and then what i'm going to do is to trace the front from the chest line So once I have that traced out, I will take the front from the back pattern and then just uh, dipping in the lines or where the lines didn't show up. I just go in with my marker and then I would label the lines, the waistline, hip line, and then the upper line would be the chest line. So this is the back for now. And then I'll put in my green line as well because it will also be cut on the bias. And then I'll cut out the pattern. So to create the halter neck, what I'm going to do is to mark four inches from the upper part like this. So if you want the how to be full you can go down like five or six if you want to show a lot at the back so i just marked four inches and then i'll be dividing this four inches so i just decided to put in one inch intervals and then make my marks and then connect it to form lines because i'll be using the slash and spread method I will go in with my marker to bold in the lines and then I will slash through the lines so what I'm going to do now is to put another paper under this um, slash lines and then I'll hold it down with an adhesive tape So once that is done, I'll be opening up the slashed um, lines. So I chose to open it uh, one inch intervals. So you can decide to open it as wide as you want. The wider you open it, the fuller your curl will be. 
but I just decided to do one inch interval for each of them. So once I have that done, I will then draw a straight line from the center front like this and then I will connect a line from the curve there at the side straight line like this so this is what we have for the cowl neck and then once you have the cowl neck just cut away the extra papers. And this is how the bag should look like. It's very simple to make. And yeah, these are all our patterns together. We'll be later on cutting the straps we need for this dress when we are doing the cutting on the fabric. So yeah, if you have watched until this point, please don't forget to like, comment, and share. I'll see you in part two. Have a great week. Bye.